Okay, so you want to do Skype in the focus group room. Um, if all goes well, this is the keyboard in the focus group room that you will use. And then what we need to do is we need to go over to the Crestron touchscreen and press a few buttons and get the screen going. And I will show you that now. So we come over here to the uh, Crestron screen. Usually it's dark like this, and all we have to do is wake it up. Usually press it a couple of times to get into the, uh, the key modes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to present something to the TV screen, the 55-inch the, uh, NEC screen. And in this case, we're going to present the Mac. That's a Mac keyboard that we have. Uh, it's white, and uh, that's where we'll find Skype. So you press that, and then look at the television, and you'll see it starts to wake up. And it says HDMI up here. It takes a minute to wake up. And now we have the Mac screen. I've already logged in, so that's why that is like that but you may need to log in with your Emerson password. So let's take a look at the bottom of the screen there. There's uh, what, what they call the dock, the Macintosh dock, and Skype should be right here in the dock. But if it's not, what you can do is you come up to this little uh, search spotlight feature and you can type in Skype and that's another way of getting you to Skype. But if all goes well, it's down here and I just hit this and I log in with my Skype information. Hopefully this is uh, all the easy stuff. Uh, it wants access to my contact information. I don't need to do that. And what I'm going to do now is the, really the most important thing is setting up the preferences, the Skype preferences. So we come up here to Skype preferences and it's the audio and video preferences that I'm really interested in here. Um, because when you come right out of the gate, um, it's going to say, uh, it could say FaceTime camera. And that camera is actually in the other room on the iMac. So the iMac is in the other room. We have this extension keyboard that works on this side of the room. So what we have to do is we have to change the camera to the ADVC 100. Okay. And so now we have to make sure we're on the right camera. We can see our trusty camera person here. Um, so basically if you don't see the right image and right now, we are not seeing the right image. And the reason I know that is because we are seeing the focus group image and that's coming from behind the mirror. So let's have a look over that way. So behind that mirror, there is a camera that they do focus groups with. So normally that camera is, it's called the main focus group camera. So let's go back over here. So if that happens to you, what you want to do is you want to come back over here and you need to change um, the camera and the way you change the camera is you go to recording Okay, now this is as if we're doing a recording of a focus group room Normally when you do a focus group, it's on the main camera But when you want to do Skype you have to go to the video conferencing camera, right? We're going to do video conferencing So we press this now and now have a look at the screen and you'll see that it switches between the main focus group room camera and This is the Skype camera Okay, so this is the one we have to do for Skype. Okay, let's go back. So now when you look at the image, you can see that um, the camera above the television sees my face. And that is what the people on the other end of Skype are gonna see. So um, if you take a step that way, the light will probably get out of the shot. Um, there you go. So now, um, what we have to do is we have to set the other preferences. The speakers, they should be on this HDMI because the Mac is connected to this television with an HDMI cable. So the sound will come out of the two speakers on the TV here. And the microphone, this is a little funky, it has to be on Scarlet. That's a special little box that's in the other room and it converts um, the sound from the microphones that are in the ceiling of this room and puts it into USB. Um, so right now we're not seeing any audio levels. So that means there's something going wrong with either the Scarlet box 
or with the mixer that takes these uh, microphones. Let me show you the microphones. They're up here in the ceiling. So these microphones go into a mixer that's in the other room and then it feeds the Scarlet box. Um, so with the Skype preferences, we need to be seeing some movement here to know that the microphones are working. So that's not happening at the moment, which is a good thing for this demonstration because we'll go now in the other room and we'll, uh, we'll fix this and we'll come back. Okay, so we gotta go in the observation room here and uh, I'll turn the lights on in here. So basically what I was talking about is, this is the Mac actually and we're behind the mirror and these audio levels are supposed to be moving and they get their sound from down here on this mixing board. So basically you need to make sure that all these levels are up. This is up, okay? And then if the, um, the sound is still not showing up here, then we probably have to uh, reset this um, box here. So what I would do for that is I would do a disconnect and then a reconnect. And then this boots back up like a little computer and shows up there. And now we get some levels when there's noise in the room. So that is working now. So we can go back into the other room. Okay, so now that we um, restarted that little scarlet box, you can see now that when I project my voice, we're getting levels here. And those are coming from the microphone up above. So that was a bit in intricate. Usually, um, that doesn't happen after like a good restart of the computer or whatever. Normally when this comes up, if there's noise in this room, you will see those little blue meters, those microphone meters moving around back and forth. But that was a good uh, example of if something goes wrong, um, your choices are to call the IT help desk at extension 8080 or to figure out which of these settings is off. And it all comes down to these audio and video preferences. So as long as you're on Scarlet and you're on this camera, it's called uh, ADVC 100, and you've selected the camera over there um, that's called video conferencing, it should look like this. Um, any more help than this, then you're gonna wanna talk to the IT help desk at extension 8080. There's a little tip sheet in the room by the, uh, the Mac and uh, in a worst case scenario, my cell phone number is uh, by the phone in the other room. So if you can't get the help desk um, and the little tip sheet doesn't help you, then you can give me a shout. Um, and then as another backup, if this isn't working out, so now that we've set all this, I can close the preferences. Okay. And now we're just ready to use Skype the way you normally do. You can have somebody Skype into you or you can reach out to them. Um, I usually like to have them call into us, but you, uh, if you're doing the video, you have to accept the video and it usually comes in as like a little camera icon. There's another backup and that is to use this whole system here because there's a camera on top. It's a USB camera with a USB microphone. So that's called Logitech. So if you go and hook this up to like your laptop, you can go to the Skype preferences and you wanna choose the microphone Logitech and the camera Logitech. Um, and all those cables are kept on the back of the TV. So let me show you that. Okay. So there's just some Velcro here. So we've got, we've got a USB camera, which you can just take the Velcro off and string it out to your, uh, to your computer. And we've also got uh, a choice of <clears throat> Mac. This is the Mac monitor cable. And if you had um, HDMI for like your PC, then you could disconnect these two things and use the HDMI. But this is an adapter, so you can do either HDMI or you can do Mac, okay? And that's over here as a backup. And that's it for Skype.